Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a haul to share. This is a long overdue haul. Um, I, I usually do hauls, a uh, collective haul like every month. Um, I do my collective haul but it's been a little while since I've shared my hauls and uh, I got a text from Marcy at Marcia uh, or Fleck Gold M here on YouTube. Hi Marcia and she had said um, do a haul pretty please I know you have one <laughs> so um, I thought yeah I, sh I should just get to you know get together some things that I had purchased recently a lot of it was purchased with um, some of the gift cards that my son Logan had given me for my birthday and that was like in August so and um, some of the other stuff is just my own foolishness <laughs> so let me share um, this, these two things I picked up um, quite a while back, back when um, Joann's had a lot of their stuff clearanced out because they were redoing, you know, their sections and stuff. So they clearanced out the Martha Stewart uh, punches, and I picked up this one for six fifty one. Can you see? Well, there's a. So I picked up that one, and then I picked up this one. It's called the. Um, butterfly trim punch and this was $4.51 really cute this one was called the uh, I don't see a name but it looked oh vintage doily so I couldn't say no to those excuse me I'll just put them there for now I couldn't say no to those um, then a long time ago a long time ago I'm talking weeks and weeks ago my um, friend Becky and I went up to AC Moore and AC Moore is about 40 minutes away from me um, it's in the far side of the next town over so I don't go up there very much um, unless there's something in particular that I'm looking for so anyway I met Becky up there and I picked up a few things um, I picked up this little stamp and it was it was only I think it was like three dollars and change. They had a whole bin of a bunch of wooden and um, acrylic stamps for three dollars and change. But I thought he was cute, this little Christmas mouse. Um, I picked up these little punches and they came together, but they're really super cute. These little banner punches, they come in the set. I was really excited to find these. So I picked up those. Um, I picked up these washi tapes. Um, do you see the gold highlights, crackled highlights on this one? My lighting isn't good because the light right behind you, the bulb went out. And I just haven't um, had Joe in to, to fix it. Because if he came in to put in a new bulb, he would say something about <laughs> my spinner thing. I'm um, being in the way and you know whatever <laughs> uh, then I picked up this and this is just three different texture uh, stamps I know there's a glare but it was also three dollars and change so I thought I thought those were a fantastic deal um, yes so I, I got those and then I picked up these and they had so many colors and I was going to get one of every color I was gonna completely get carried away but I toned myself down because hmm. these were only a dollar and it's dimensional fabric paint and it's by Nicole um, that's what it says but um, they had all different colors I mean I just love the colors so I I ended up with this light blue one this tan one that has like a sand color and it's got a little bit of gold um, glitter in that and then this brown one. I was thinking about, you know, beach colors. Um, and then this pretty light, light pink one. And then this teal one, this like ocean colored one. So I have tried a couple of them already and th they are a lot like liquid pearls, I guess, but a little bit more watered. I don't know. They're, they're fun to paint with and use with the stencils, though. I'm, I'm glad I picked them up. Then, um, let's see, uh, at Inspiration Station, Inspir Stamp Inspiration, I don't, it's an online store, I'm sorry, I forgot. 
the name of it, but I picked up the Fairy Princess by the Greeting Farm, and um, obviously I haven't used these yet, but look how super cute they are. I'm not normally a Greeting Farm fanatic, but, um, but these guys are really cute, and they're big enough for ATC cards. Um, I had seen My Serenity Crafts, um, Sarah, hi Sarah, uh, do some um, ATCs with the stamp set, and that was it. I had to get it. Because you can get like little stamps of like castles and this and that to go with it. It was, it was just really cute. So I picked that up. And then at one time I had ordered from Blue Moon, and um, this was quite a while ago, and I think I had picked up some... Um, um, I'm sorry, Prima Doll Stamps. And I may have shown this already, I can't remember, but it's called Sadie Girl, and it's a Christy Tomlinson, Tomlinson stamp, I believe. But um, it's by Unity, and it says, A Mother's Heart is a Patchwork of Love. Happy Mother's Day. But, of course, you don't have to use, you know, this sentiment. It's a good size stamp. And I was thinking... There you go. I was thinking about using it with some mixed media and she art or something like that. I haven't used it yet. My time has been limited, but um, there's a window opening for me to have more time. So I'm, I'm happy about that. So um, then some other randomness. I picked up these from Hobby Lobby. It's just the foam glittered stars. And let me show you why. You know, my son Spencer had a baby, a little baby boy, and they named him Max Parker, and um, Maxwell Parker, and he's just the cutest little thing. Of course, they live in Georgia, and I haven't seen him yet, but they sent me a picture of the baby's room, and it is so typical Spencer. He did it in um, Marvel Comic Heroes, like Spider-Man and all that, you know, and it's really cute, you know, with the with the curtains and the um, picture on the wall and the bed set. It's just really adorable for a little boy, you know. So, um, I, with that in mind, I was going to alter the letter M for Max's room. So fun, right? So, I, I can't use flowers, right? We're talking little boy here. So, um, I picked up these as accents. And plus, I want to do... You know, of course, a little mini album, but I found this paper pad, and it's Marvel Comics, and it's got all the heroes there. <laughs> and this is something, obviously, I never would have purchased. Even when my boys were young, I probably never would have purchased it. But, but super awesome, because I, I'm going to alter, you know, like a box, going to make Max a banner. Um, alter the letter M, excuse me, and um, yeah, I think it'll be super cute. So that's why I purchased the stars um, as embellishments. Then um, at Hobby Lobby, was this last week, everything, uh, the zoology buttons were half off, and these are new, I had never seen them before, and I, I, I hope it'll show up, because I know the lighting isn't really good and the glare is excellent <laughs> but I picked up those um, these and these seem to be a lot like the wooden spool tops that they have in the scrapbooking section except these are buttons really cute so these all cost a dollar a dollar to a dollar fifty and then I, I got this set really really cute just really sweet and then these um, more of a shabby chic theme with the Paris and the butterflies and really fun 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 so um, I found those over at the Hobby Lobby <laughs> and then I found this too it it was also half off and um, yeah these are doodle inspirational words but look how it's written I just love that font can you see that isn't that cute I mean, that'll look really sweet on scrapbook pages and, um, you know, even cards if you're a card maker or something. I thought it was really cute. And then I found these um, stickers, and these will go with that beach paper that I have from Hobby Lobby from the Paper Studio. So I picked these up. 
Um, see that lobster? He matches. He matches this. This guy. So, um, yeah, I had to get him because, you know, I'm never done with summer projects. Um, every day is summer here in South Florida. So, anyway, um, and then I picked up this one with all these shells. So, I thought they were really cute. Um, I'll get a lot of use out of those. Sorry. Sorry. And then um, they had some new trims, and I... I didn't go bananas. I very well could have gone bananas at the new trims over at the Hobby Lobby. But I didn't. <laughs> I picked up this one, though. You see, it's um, like a antique gold, kind of. And it's little squares, um, textured squares. Let's see if I can't open it. Oh, it'll take me forever to open this for you. But anyway, um, check out... Um, you know the trims next week. Next week they'll be on sale half off uh, because some new new trims over at Hobby Lobby. And then when these were on sale, I picked up these. The they were half off. These are in the wedding section. These poofy flowers, so they were a dollar a piece. Really sweet. And then I picked up these, and these were like um, fifty cents a piece. Whoops, sorry little uh, gold and brushed gold and then a black one so I picked those up over at Hobby Lobby when they were half off um, oh and this I found this the other day just I went in there real quick so I'd gone to the Dollar Tree and this was on clearance and I wasn't going to get it but then I thought I'll never find it for that price again ever ever it's the distress at all and it, it's normally $49.99. It's normally 50 bucks, but it was on clearance for $17.99. So that's less than half off. So I had to get it. You know, I have a hard time sometimes when I using any of these kinds of distressors, even the Prima Tool one, because I have to hold the paper with this hand, right? And do like this, and it's just awkward for me. You know, I, I, I get it done and all that, but it's awkward. So... I was happy to find this because this is a tool that will actually, actually make things easier for me. Um, also, at I think I purchased this at um, Michael's, and I used the coupon, of course. I wanted to try it. It's the molding plate, molding paste by Art C, and they had a few sets of different colors. I picked up the one with the raspberry and the gold and the like, the hunter green color. So, I'm curious to try those out. I, um, obviously, I haven't opened it yet. Um, these washi tapes were on, on clearance. And I picked them up thinking that uh, they'll work well with a lot of the different papers in that comic book pad that I picked up. <laughs> um, I found these at uh, Target. And do you see they have the banner bottoms? See that? Really cute, right? Oh my gosh, they have such cute stuff over at Target. And I picked up a few other things too, you know, jars and and uh, stuff like that. But they're they're throughout my house. So um, anyway, lots of cute fall things over at um, the do the dollar spot at Target. Um, at Michaels, I these were uh, like half off a while back, so I picked up these because these are fun to spray. I also picked up these leaves because they're smaller. Oh, jeez, this glare is just... They're a smaller size than the big old leaves. So, um, yeah, I picked those up. And then I found these napkins were like 60% off. So I think I'm thinking about doing a wall hanging for diamond dies. We'll see. And then... Um, then I was really excited to see this at Hobby Lobby, new paper at Hobby Lobby. And this was half off because it's not a page kit. So um, it was $5. It's Fancy Pants and it is the Memories Captured one. They also have the, had the burlap, burlaps and flowers, or I forgot what it's called, but they had another Fancy Pants collection. And look at the colors in this. Really sweet. 
Isn't that great? I can't wait to um, dig into this. And I'm going to use this for my, you know, straight up 12 by 12 scrapbooking. I was so happy to find Fancy Pants at, um, or this particular collection over at Hobby Lobby. And $5. You can't, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Okay, and um, I found this over at, I don't know, Michael's. But see, little feathers, super cute. This cuts through your cork, DCWB cork paper and, um, yeah, cork paper. So, fun, fun. And I picked up this, um, I haven't used it yet. It's the um, uh, Spellbinders die and it's, I forgot what they called it. But you see, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Um, and then I put in an order over at your scrapbook supply with Rhonda because she's just giving things away over there. <laughs> she's got things marked down ridiculously. And then she's giving you 20% off your entire purchase. Then if you spend $50, you get free shipping. So if you spend $50, 20% off, that's $40. That's free shipping craziness over there at your scrapbook supply <laughs> so I um yeah I put in an order I, I picked up these papers for um, the coffee collection by Prima coffee break collection and my all-time favorite collection epiphany I'm getting ready to do a mixed media layout with the papers that um, Janice from um, cleaner Jan H hi Janice that she had sent me thank you so much Janice love that paper and then I picked up a couple of the Shaggy Chic Treasures. Um, I picked up these because look how big those birds are. Huge, right? So I've got some canvases I want to work on. And, and these are huge, so I think they'll work really well. And then I got these little lock things. Do you see that? Because those are perfect for mini albums. Yes? Yes. Yes. And then I picked up a couple of the Prima Dolls because I'm bananas about the Prima Dolls. But I do actually use mine. So, um, I picked up her and she's Julia. Julia spells her name really weird, but it's Julia. <laughs> and then I picked up Dita. Dita. I picked up Dita. <laughs> yeah. So I know, I'm sorry about the glare, but there you go. Um, and then I picked up the Bo Bunny 6x6 um, six six of uh, Candy Cane Lane. <gasps> How sweet. This, this reminds me of October Afternoon Paper because of like the retro feel and the pinks and turquoise colors for Christmas. Really super cute. Um, yeah, I was going to get the 12x12 12 12 collection, but you know what? I have, I already have a lot of cute Christmas paper. Um, yeah, so I couldn't do that. But I got the 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 because, oh my gosh, that's why. <laughs> and then $3 for this Prima stencil. She had quite a few of them at the time. But um, I picked up this one. It's the butterflies. I don't have anything like that. Really cute. And this is... I don't know how big, six and a half by ten and a quarter. So that's a great size if you're working a 12 by 12 thing. Oh, I got the chipboard for a Cane Cane Lane. Look how cute. Are you kidding me? So, look at the tree. <gasps> that is so cute. Look at the snowman guy. Oh my gosh. That's just adorable. That's just adorable. So cute. Maybe I should have gotten the 12 by 12 but I don't need it. Seriously. I have a lot of cute Christmas paper. Um, oh, and this stencil I had been wanting since the first time I saw it. And it's called the... Um, oh, shoot. Something brick wall or stone wall. I don't see it on here. But look how cute. Not cute. Cool. Stonewall. I'll give you the item number in a minute. It's really awesome. There's the item number. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to using this. That's that's a really cool stencil. And then 
I wanted this 12 by 12 collection when I first saw it at your scrapbook supply when it was like 15 bucks. And then when I went on there looking at the new Prima dolls, she had this up for seven. Six and change, seven dollars, something like that. It was crazy. It's the Cartabella Mem Moments and Memories paper collection. Um, look at these papers. Is that awesome? Look at that. I love I love these papers. I love this collection. Cartabella is um straight up quality, you know, like Echo Park, right? So I was very excited to see this paper collection. So yeah, I'm anxious to get into my um you know regular 12 by 12 scrapbooking. So yeah, that's my long overdue um haul and and Marcy, I didn't get any of those metal pieces that I sent you a picture. There's a new section at Hobby Lobby with um, with all these different metals and stuff and some Prima metals and everything. It's near the uh, glassware, the jars and stuff over at Hobby Lobby. Awesome stuff. Very pricey. So um, I didn't pick any of it up, Marcy, but um, eh, when they put it on sale, I'm sure I'll, I'll pick and choose a couple of things. But, um, yeah, check out Hobby Lobby. They, they got a lot of new things out. So, anyway, that's my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I know it was a long one. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.